Well, good morning, everyone. How are you all? Good. It's very good to see everyone today. And we have a very, very special treat today, which is I'm going to read two books. That's not the treat. The treat is one of the books is a brand new book. It was actually just printed today. And really, just today. And, uh, and you will be the very, very first people that the book has ever read to. Isn't that exciting? And it is about a lot of what we have been through as a city over the course of the last month or so. So I'm reading this book today um, as part of our YYC is Open campaign, reminding people that businesses in the flood affected areas, just like Pages and Kensington right here, are open and ready for business uh, and we should be supporting them. So the first book I'm going to read is The River Throws a Tantrum by Rona Altros, illustrated by Sarah Joy Geddes. And Rona Altros and Sarah Joy Geddes are here today. So let's hear it for them, for the author and the artist. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Am I in the book? You may well be. Here we go. You're Oliver, right? You're not really in it, but you'll see a little bit of yourself in it, I think. All right, so The River Throws a Tantrum by Rona Altros. XO, XO, O, O, O. I win again, tic tac toe. Knock, knock. Wh who's at the door? Mommy says, a firefighter? Why? The river is raging. A flood is on its way. Water may reach this street. Evacuate. Go soon. No more games. We have to leave. The river is throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Mommy says, oh, and quick, choose two toys. Nothing big. Mommy. <laughs> Daddy. Come with me, Murray Bear. Daddy. Come sit with me. Come sit. Come sit. Um, um, come sit. Um, come sit and we'll read, okay? I'm... Mommy says, oh, and quick, choose two toys. Nothing big. Come with me, Murray Bear. Let's go Andre the Finger Puppet. You can't get much smaller than Andre. Mommy fills a suitcase. Her hands move fast. Everything is rush, rush. Daddy puts Mo in his orange carrier. Mo meows, no, he doesn't want to go. Daddy marks our door with an X. That shows police we're out. We're safe. When we come back, will we mark the door with an O? We sure will, Owen, Daddy says. We'll mark it with an O. <laughs> You did it? Did ya? <laughs> Auntie Talia picks up Mummy and me. We drive to her apartment. Mo can't come. Auntie Talia is allergic to cats. Daddy drives Mo to the animal shelter. I play tic-tac-toe with Auntie Talia. At bedtime, she hugs Murray Bear and me and says, Andre the Finger Puppet, bon nuit. I try to sleep, but I wake up again and again. I hug Murray Bear tight. Andre the Finger Puppet, he can't sleep either. When I wake up, everyone else is dressed. The river crested, Mummy says. That means it got super high. Too high. We watch the mayor on TV. That's me. He looks tired. <laughs> like he hasn't had a nap since forever. That part's true. <laughs> Stay away from the river, he says, and don't go into your homes yet. Later, we drive to the top of the hill and we look down. There's our townhouse, but it's not on a little street anymore. It's in a big brown lake. Oh no, the water reaches halfway up our door. Is there water inside our house? In the basement, Mummy says. Is there water in the kitchen? No, just the basement. Is there water in my bedroom? No, just the basement. Will the water go away soon? We hope so, Owen, Mummy says. We hope so. We watch the flood news on TV all day while it rains. A giraffe gets sick at the flooded zoo. Poor giraffe. A hippo almost escapes. <laughs> 
Antalya makes vegetable soup and grilled cheese. Watermelon for dessert. My favorite. But I'm not hungry. I miss Mo. At last, the river stops its tantrum. The floodwaters drop. The mayor says mommy and daddy can go to our house to get the water out. I'm not allowed back. It's not safe for kids yet. I see mommy and daddy at breakfast and then they leave. They're gone all day. Andre the finger puppet starts to cry. I tell him mommy and daddy will come back. The next day, mommy and daddy leave early again. And when I go to bed, they're not back yet. And the next day, same thing. And the next. Now I miss Mo and Mommy and Daddy. Auntie Talia and I bake chocolate chip cookies for Mommy and Daddy and our neighbors. We will meet Mommy and Daddy at a street corner. It's still not safe for me to go into the house. I can see some houses from the street. I see people vacuuming water and mud out of their houses and tearing out carpets and taking down basement walls. There are helpers everywhere. The streets are muddy. I see big bins of broken furniture and wet garbage in the street. Even dishwashers. Mummy and Daddy are covered in mud, too. These cookies taste great, Daddy says. Guess what, Daddy says one morning. We're going home today. Oh boy, I give Auntie Talia a big hug. I love you, Auntie Talia, but I need to go home. I know, Owen, Auntie Talia says. Mommy and Daddy and I pick up Mo at the animal shelter. He is happy to see us. He rubs against my leg. He doesn't like car rides, so he meows on the way home. Finally, we reach our house. Everything looks dry. No sign of a flood. No ducks. It's a street, not a lake. We're home. I walk up to the door, and on the door, I tape a big, beautiful O. Isn't that nice? Let's say thank you to the people who wrote that for us.